All right, and I'm back online. Now, what I want to do is keep going and work on the uh, Color Switch clone made with Unity. And uh, let me show you where we are right now and what we want to do next. So I'm going to share my whole screen so that you guys can see it. And I'm going inside of Unity. I'm going to press play so we can see what we have so far. We actually have a fully working game with a menu. I'm going to press play. And now I have the ball here. And as I click, I have the ball jumping. And I have to go through. And as you can see, it's working just fine. We have different uh, types. Excellent. I can go change these colors. I can easily go through all different types of shapes. Now I have blue. Excellent. So we have a fully working game. That's good. Now, one, uh, one, one, one uh, guy from the audience asked me, well, how about advertising networks? And yes, that's, uh, that's actually a good way to you know, get some extra cash when people are playing your game, especially if you put the game for free. And uh, the, one of the, there's two different ways to, I mean, there are dozens of ways to add advertising networks, but there are two main ways that are very easy to, to go and uh, very easy to set up. The first would be the Unity ads. It's pretty good and straightforward. But I also like the uh, Google AdMobs because it goes on multiple platforms as well. So we're going to go with AdMob. Now, if you're not familiar with AdMob, let's go take a look at what I'm talking about. So right here, I'm inside of a web browser, and I'm just going to type Google AdMob. Let me zoom in so that you guys can read how to spell AdMob. A-D-B, no, A-D-M-O-B. There you go. Just press Enter. Or you can even type Unity. And then it would go and uh, you can download it for Unity. So here we are. So AdMobs is just a way to, it's a plugin. There's actually a plugin for Unity that shows uh, banners that may be full size banner for the full screen or just a small banner that would be at the top or the bottom of the screen. So let's go ahead and just uh, type on the firebase.google.com docs AdMob Android games. And uh, I'm sure there will be a link there to download it. Here we go. And make sure you click on the Unity one. Here we go. And obviously, there's a big blue button that says download the plugin. So click on that button and get the plugin. I already have it on my computer, but still, I will download it just to show you that I'm not doing anything fancy. Here, there's a bunch of different uh, downloads. And go with the first one, the Google Mobile Ads. Select it, and now it will uh, download. So I will have it inside of, um, inside of my download folder. So I'm going to go in my download folder, and I need to locate it. So here it is, the Google Mobile Ad Unity Package. All right, so you, should, you guys should have something similar, Google Mobile Ad Unity Package. Now, what we want to do is add this to the Unity project. So let's go back to Unity. And inside of Unity, we're going to add it. How do we do this? Well, we go to Assets. Import new asset. Once we do that, we go and grab the uh, package that we have. Mine's in the download folder, so yours is probably there too. And uh, where is mine? Let me look for the name because somehow it doesn't find it. The exact name is Google Mobile Ads .unity package. So we should be able to find it. Let's see. Here it is. OK, so somehow it doesn't want to take it. That's not a problem. We can do it a different way. So I'm going to cancel that. If you have the same problem as me, you can do import package, custom package. All right? So when you do that, it's actually a .unity package. So that will work, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to put the name here so it locates it. OK, somehow it doesn't find it. So I'm going to have to lo look at it manually. Here it is. All right. So now that I found it, I'm going to open it. And now it's looking at all the content that's inside of that package. And you want to make sure that everything is selected. And if it's not, click on all, which will make sure that everything gets selected. And then click on the import button in the bottom right. OK, that's it. And that's usually how you import any package. Most of the time, that's how you'll do. That's a Unity package, by the way. All right. Um, there are other types of packages that FBX model files and things like that, but here is just a Unity package, so it's pretty straightforward. Now that it's done, I can see that I have a Google, a Google Mobile Ad package. It's uh, right here inside of my assets. So, so far, so good. You guys should have that with a bunch of files as well. Don't worry about what's inside. We're going to use it, but we don't really have to, 
to know what's inside. But basically, it's a bunch of files um, that um, that uh, some that, that the Google developers wrapped around their uh, Google Mobile Ads Ad Mob. All right, so now let's integrate this. And uh, in order to integrate this, we need to call this through the code. And we're going to call it whenever the game starts. And the best way to do this is to use the manager. So uh, we do have the manager um, object here. And inside of it, we have the manager references. So I'm going to double click on the manager references script. Once I'm there, I'm going to look for whenever the game starts. And there are many ways, but the start function is probably a good place to start and, and, do, the, and do the code. So what I'm going to use first is the code to be able to, to display just a simple banner, an ad banner. And to do that, I need to import the AdMob framework. And right here in the using statement, I'm going to import it using, and here the name is Google Mobile Ads. See, it found it automatically, dot API, because API is for the, uh, um, programmation, uh, the programming interface. That's what we need. And now we need to have banner IDs. So inside of the start, I'm going to create a new method here. I'm going to call it setup admob. Setup admob banner so that we know we're working on the banner. And we don't have the method, so we're going to create it. I'm going to go all the way down of this file and create it public void setup admob banner. And here, we're going to write the logic. Now, what would the logic be here? Well, first, we have to get uh, an ID. What do we mean by that? Well, a string ID for the add unit ID. So I'm going to write here, string. And here I'm going to call it add unit ID, add unit ID. And I'm going to put is equal to, right now, just put an empty string and a semicolon at the end, because I do not have an add unit ID. We're going to need to create this. To do, create the add ID in AdMob dashboard. Now we need to go in the AdMob dashboard. We don't have it right now. So that's what we need to do very soon. But before we do so, we can already start on the code. So the code here would be to request a banner view. Banner view, let's call it, um, are we gonna call it just banner, I guess we can call it. Yeah, banner we do just fine. Or even banner view with a lowercase v, b and, and uppercase v, banner view is equal to new banner view. And now let's put the add unit ID. So the add unit ID would be obviously the add unit ID, the one that we just created earlier, but we're not finished with it. Then uh, it requires the, the add size. So to do this, we can do add size dot banner because we want a banner, right? And then the position. So for this would be the add position. And here, let's put it at the bottom. Why at the bottom? Because that's where we have room. So let me close that and show you what I'm talking about. So let me save this. And if you look inside of Unity, when we play the game, we see that we have room to add the add banner right at the, uh, at the bottom. As you can see here, the bottom, you know, the ball should never go to the bottom. And we don't want to clog the top because that's where the, the new components are coming from. So it's always good to have it at the bottom. All right. But it's up to you. If you want at the top, go for it. OK. So that would go and, and, and grab the, uh, the banner. And the next thing we want to do is request the, uh, the banner. Add request. Let's call this one request. Is equal to new add request dot builder and close dot build. OK, so technically, we are building the banner here. OK, so we're doing the request. And when it comes back, we are building the banner with that request. And then let's load that banner view, because it's the banner view dot. No, we're not going to destroy. We're going to load the ad. And we're going to load the ad using the request. All right. So basically, we are hooking the request to the banner view. All right. And uh, that's pretty much all we need. The last step is actually to go and grab the ad unit ID. And to do so, we can go to uh, any web browser. In here, I'm in Safari. I'm going to open a new tab. And I'm going to go to apps.admob.com. Now, if you've never been there, that's not a problem. You just have to go there. And 
and register. You can use any Gmail account that you may have to register. Now, as you can see, I'm already signed in here, but it is free to sign up. So go for it, sign up, and you arrive with the same interface as the one I have right now. Now, the next thing you want to do is click on monetize new app. As soon as you do this, you click there and you just uh, add your app manually, unless you already have it in the App Store. So add my app manually. I'm going to call this one Color Switch Clone, just for the sake of having a name. Select a platform. Now, if you know that you're going to push or publish the app on Android, select Android. If you know it's iOS, put iOS. I'm going to go with, let's say, Android first. All right, and add app. All right, now I'm going to select a banner. And I will leave all the defaults, OK? I don't have to change anything. The defaults, we do just fine. And then put a name. I'm going to call this one Main Banner. Why Main Banner? Well, because there's only going to be one banner. So that's totally fine. Main Banner, we do just fine. And once I'm done, just click on Save. As soon as you do this, then you see that you get the Add Unit ID here. That's the important part. I'm going to right click. So select it, right click, and copy. Then going back to Unity or mono develop to be more precise. And I'm going to add this in the string add unit ID right here. Do not put any space. And in between the two double quotes, just paste it. Command V or Control V is the best way to paste. All right. So that will do the call to this unit ID. So I don't need the to do anymore because it's done. All right. Cool. So now this will load, and this will put the, uh, the ID right there. And uh, make sure you save and go back in Unity and make sure you have no error in the Unity game engine. Right? So let's go to the console and let's clear. Yep, no error. That's good. Now, if you press play, you're not going to be able to see anything whenever you play the game. Um, the reason why we don't see anything is that it doesn't work in the Unity, um, the, the Unity simulator. You have to be on the real phone to see the uh, ad banner one. Now, I've only done the one for Android. So if you wanted to create one for iOS, you'll have to go back and click on Monetize a new app again. And this time, whenever you monetize the new app, make sure to select iOS. So click on Add your app manually. And I'm going to say um, Color Switch Clone. And here, this one would be iOS. And select Platform, iOS. Add app, all right. Select a banner again, then Call it main banner, which doesn't really matter anyway, and then save. Once this is done, we get a new ID. So I'm going to copy this ID, and I'm going back to Unity and add it right below. So string add unit ID, just like the same one I have above, but I'm going to paste what I just got again. So now we have two of them. Obviously, we have two of them. This is not going to fly. You know, This is going to complain. As you can see, it's complaining. It's red because it says that it's already defined, obviously, right above. So what we need to do is do an if else to see if we are running for Android or running for, um, running for, um, for iOS. So we can do an if statement like this. If, and here we're going to put if unity underscore Android then we're going to use this one. And here, let's put an L if, well, or else if, unity underscore. So iOS would be, um, if I remember, iOS would be iPhone. I thought it would find it, but somehow it doesn't find the iPhone. Um, well. It should have found it. Somehow it doesn't find it right now, but usually it's the Unity iPhone. I don't know why it doesn't want to find it. Oh, I guess it knows that I'm not using it, but usually it's the Unity iPhone. So we'll have to use that. Okay, and then right at the end, we close the else if by adding an if. All right, and if. So it might just be, yes, it knows that we enjoy it right now. And also we can add one for, um, we can one, add one else if for uh, the editor. So else if, so elif, and use unity underscore editor so that you know we're inside of the editor. OK, and we can put a different string ID. I can actually use the same one as the one for Android, which doesn't really matter because um, it doesn't show in the simulator anyway. All right, I'm going to save this. Let's see if it recognizes the Unity iPhone. Going back to Unity, let's see if I have any error. Going to the console and checking. 
Okay, no error, that's good. So you can always double check by clicking on play and seeing what's happening. All right, the game still runs. So, so far, so good. Um, what else? Yes, I'm going to remove the maximize on play and play again so that I can show you that the request is getting, re is getting done. So how am I going to show you that the request is getting done? Well, we can see it right there in the code. You guys see that? Create banner view, dummy, dummy. As you can see, it's going and it's, it's doing the, um, the load to get the banner. All right? So that's how we know. Cool. All right. So that's pretty much all you need to know for the ads.